Okay, this is going to be a really quick tutorial building off of the values underpinning tutorial. So this is kind of building off of that. And so something you'll notice here is, if we recall, in that tutorial we started off with um, a black and white, a black and white underpainting, and then we added kind of color overlays on top, a uh, color overlay in order to kind of get this into like a raw umber kind of underpainting right here, and. So something that you might run into with that is, if you remember this line, these lines up here that I was using, since I was painting in values, these are black and white lines right here. And a lot of times black and white lines will look good on a character design. But I have this example right here. This is by an artist named Pernille Orem, walking through her first sketch, draw over, and final process right here. And so something you might notice right here um, and this is her Instagram, if you want to follow her, she has great work. Um, and if, if you notice right here, using black lines, you know, through this initial process, but if we look at the finished, the finished piece right here, that these lines have um, hue, you know, they have some color into them right here. And so let's just say, for instance, that you don't want to redraw your lines and you want to take your existing line work and kind of add color to it if it's already black and white. So this is a technique that I like to use. And so one thing you'll kind of know by um, watching me paint and work is I, I really like to work non-destructively, meaning I like to at any point be able to kind of undo and get back to where I can, whenever it's, you know, whenever it's feasible and realistic. And so you can see I work with masks a whole lot. And so with this line work, what I like to do, and I like to do this a lot, is I like to use adjustment layers. And so if you look at the bottom corner right here, it's this little circle with the, line, the diagonal line going through it right here. And so if you click it, you'll see you can add adjustment layers onto it. And so Photoshop, which was initially a photo editing piece of software, you can kind of add effects, color adjustments, um, exposure adjustments to pictures directly. If you go up to image adjustments and you can find the same things right here. So under image adjustments at the top, this applies these effects directly onto the layer in question. So you always have this as an option right here. I like to use adjustment layers just because I, I like to have the option to kind of get back to the original. And this is just from years of having clients come back to me and you know wanting edits and stuff like that. And it just has made my life a little bit easier. So I like to use adjustment layers. So with the line selected right here, I'll click on this. And if I want to add color to these black lines, I'd go to, you could do this a few different ways, but I like to go to hue saturation right here. And that's going to add an adjustment layer. But you'll notice that if I move the saturation slider, it's changing the saturation on everything. And I want it just to affect the lines right there. So in order to just have it only affect the layer that's directly underneath of it right here, is you select on hue saturation and then you click on this button right here and let's see here is yeah it's called clip to layer and so if you click on that a little arrow will show up next to it and so now when i make adjustments you can see it's not making the whole picture go crazy right here um, but there's one more step i need to do right here and i need to click on this little button called colorize and so what that's going to do is especially if you have something that's already black and white it's going to make it so that if I lighten this and add saturation to it, that even though it was originally a black and white line, I can insert my own color into this. All right, so let me just reset this, these numbers real quick so it's not quite so crazy. And so let's say that I want this to be kind of like a warm brown line. What I like to do is I like to pull the saturation up a little bit just so I can kind of see the color a little bit better. Find the saturation and then kind of scroll through the hue color wheel right here until I find kind of a base tone that kind of comes close to matching my underpainting right there. And then once I find it, then I'll bring the lightness back down. And so let's just kind of you'll continue to tweak it however you want. Um, and it just kind of depends on what you want your final product to be. So this is gonna be like a pretty subtle example of this but you can see when I zoom in on my line it used to be you know I'll turn my adjustment layer off so it used to be black like that and I'll turn my adjustment layer back on and it kind of gives my black lines that raw umber tone right there and so you can use adjustment layers in a litany of different ways and I'm sure I'll have videos kind of going over different 
kind of interesting ways that you can implement these into your process. And if you're, remember if your project starts to get like a little overwhelming, don't forget to kind of name things, simplify where you can. And for instance, like something I like to do is if I have an adjustment layer on something, I'll just hold shift and select both of those and then press the folder button or press command G and group them together and call that like lines or something. And that'll kind of keep this area from getting too overwhelming or something like that.